Hi, I'm Dottie Morrison, and I'd like to invite you into the photo gallery and studio for another episode of Gallery Glimpses. Come on in. Hi, Frank. Hi, Dottie. I have Frank Moore with me today. He's been a photographer here at Shell Point for quite a while, and he really likes to photograph birds. Yeah. <laughs> and here in the gallery, you have wonderful examples of birds feeding and flying and showing breeding plumage. These are just amazing pictures. Well, thank you. They're, uh, they're from all over. I can see that. Most of them Southwest Florida. Right. Um, so I keep trying to get pictures of birds in flight. How do you capture a bird at the perfect moment like that? Well, uh, I don't get every per picture perfect. Well, none of us do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> you have to have a high ISO, which is really like shutter speed, right, uh, right. film speed. And what uh, were you telling me about patience? Oh, yes. I, uh, I was an obstetrician, and I'm used to sitting and waiting, and with, <laughs> with birds, you have to wait. So you know uh, they're there, and yeah. then you wait for that decisive moment. I want them to get up and fly. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so this picture, not everyone will know what this great egret is doing. Can you explain what's happening in this picture that you caught? Well, um, in the common language, he's looking for a date. Okay. Uh, he's in breeding plumage every spring. The males get this, lots and lots of fuzzy feathers, and they get a green lore up there between the eye and the bill. So pretty. And they they stand in the in the at the edge of the pond, and arch the head back, arch the neck back, and say, "I'm looking for a date." <laughs> Wonderful. And you said you took this at Venice Rookery. Yes. What what's a rookery? Not everybody might know. No a rookery is a place where birds go to have a nest and have babies. Okay, and so <laughs> they gather at those places and you can get pretty close to them usually, yes. can't you? Yes, yes. Wonderful. Now on the other wall, uh, we have wonderful pictures from Africa, I'm guessing. Yeah, have... there are a few. Okay. Um, is this a crowned crane? Yes. One isn't of my it, favorites from when I was a kid. Gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful. We're not yes. allowed to have those here at Shell Point. <laughs> <laughs> right. And a few other uh, birds, ostriches. Yeah. See the baby ostriches? Four, yeah. four oh, little ones. Oh, how cute. Yes. Very, very nice. And then this wonderful landscape. This has to be a, an African landscape. Yeah, that's, that's in Kenya. Okay. That's one of the acacia trees. Beautiful. Um, beautiful. I love that. And then we have a completely different landscape. Where was this? Okay. Uh, this is in Antarctica. We were there just about a year ago uh -huh. uh, on a five-week cruise around South America. Nice. These icebergs, uh, we were 50 feet away from them in our cruise ship, mm -hmm. and they're 100 to 200 feet high. I just imagine. solid ice. Amazing. Now back here, there's some rock. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This, uh, I, they're printed on metal uh -huh. because I think that's better for showing ice. It's beautiful. And that brings me to the exciting one at the back of the gallery. Oh, Let's yes. go back here. Uh, Tell me about this. Okay. Well, it's printed on metal, which makes it look uh, even more realistic for ice. Yes. There's a 100 yard long iceberg. Uh, with hundreds of penguins. Penguins. Yeah, wonderful. And they were scared by our cruise ship, so they <laughs> all went down to one end, and two or three at a time they dove in. It was most impressive. That must have been amazing. Wow. Well, Frank, you have other wonderful pictures here, bird pictures and other things, and we hope that all of you are going to stop by. Our gallery hours are 1.30 to 3.30, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoons. You can come down the artistic tunnel, visit the train room, visit the art room, and then come down all the way down the hallway past the stamp room and you'll find us. And we'd love to have you come by. Uh, Frank's work will be on display until uh, the second week of April, and we'd love to see you. Mm -hmm.